looking at the matchup, this isn't a simple game to forecast. When these two teams play, it often never is. However, there is one thing that should separate the Tar Heels from the Blue Devils tomorrow evening, and that is toughness. That is why Carolina is going to win, and the toughness they have will most reveal itself in the post. Armando Baycott facing Kyle Filipowski. Armando! That's the most important mass, uh, matchup. You have Mark Mitchell against Harrison Ingram as well. Advantage Tar Heels in either case. Armando, he's been the anchor. Armando! Defensively, some have noted how he hasn't scored as much this year as he do has done in past years. That's because they haven't had to ask as much of him, and he says that he's really loving playing defense and has been energized in doing so. Hubert said that at the start of this week. So against Flip, advantage Baycott. Ingram's been more consistent this year than Mark Mitchell has. But here was John Shire speaking to the challenge of trying to rebound against North Carolina. You got to be tough. You know, you have to be tough. You have to have, uh, uh, you have, to have each other's backs. And because... Look, they're great again. Baycott demands a lot of attention, you know, naturally going to the boards, uh, but also Ingram's all over the boards. And then they'll send a third perimeter at times four. And so you have to have each other's back. So if somebody comes over to help, well, then somebody better help him. Toughness. Shire said it right there. You got to be tough. Toughness is the key. Carolina is a tougher team than Duke is. And you should expect this Carolina team to be breathing fire at around 630 tomorrow night. They lost both meetings with Duke last year. Carolina just lost a game it should have won at Georgia Tech the other night. Carolina is unbeaten at the Smith Center this year. And when you look at the two home games they've had in the month of January, they only had two in January. 36-point win against Syracuse, 21-point win against Wake Forest. You should expect a crispy Carolina team tomorrow. I still think Duke's good is better than Carolina's, meaning if Duke's playing at its best and Carolina's playing at its best, Duke probably has the slight nod in terms of talent and a higher ceiling, but Carolina's a lot more consistent than Duke is. I have less confidence, especially with the game being in Chapel Hill, that we're going to see that side of Duke, scary Duke, make an appearance. Tyrese Proctor, if he goes off, then all bets are off on what the Blue Devils can do. The freshmen, how are they going to be hitting from three? They hit pretty well Monday night in Blacksburg. Are they going to be able to do so against one of the best three-point defenses in all of college basketball? I just have more faith in Carolina being the team that we've seen them be for the lion's share of this season versus Duke being the team we've only seen in flashes that they can be. If it's close, as it usually is, advantage Carolina as well. This is not a physical toughness point. This is a mental toughness point, which is incredibly important too. Duke, two and four this season in games decided by six points or fewer. That includes barely holding on against Clemson this past weekend at home needing to get that call at the end in order to win the basketball game. Carolina, meanwhile, is one of the best free throw shooting teams in all of college basketball. If you want to go through the history of their program, their percentage right now is sixth in the history of Carolina basketball when it comes to free throw shooting. So all that, to me, points to Carolina winning a tight game. Give me North Carolina 74, Duke 67.